What's up, you guys? Welcome to a spring deep clean with me. You guys, these cabinets are so, so bad. It's like embarrassing to even show them, but there is so much dust and dirt and just stuff caked on these cabinets. And so we're going to come in today, deep clean this kitchen and decorate for spring. We've got Easter coming up and I'm a little behind schedule. So I want to get my Easter decor up and just get these cabinets clean. So we're going to jump right in to this video. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Rebecca Joe, and I am a mom to two teen boys and a carpenter's spouse. And we live in a tiny house and we are always decorating and reorganizing and doing all of the things. So if you guys like videos and content like this, make sure that you guys go and check out some more of our other videos and subscribe to this channel. Here we go. So originally my husband, he actually built all of these cabinets um, from scratch. So he built these cabinets um, for me and I was able to design them and all of the things, but whenever we painted them, we literally just painted them and then kind of we're having, cause we're living in the space, you know, that we're remodeling. And so we painted them and then we didn't put the silver over the top. And so there is literal like paint from crafts and just dust and everything all over these cabinets and so I've got to get them super clean and then I'm gonna go ahead and touch them up with another coat of paint and then put a sealer over the top of them um, these cabinets need to be sealed so if you've ever had a cabinet that is not sealed you will know what I'm talking about but it just makes it more of a rough surface so it's harder to get things clean but if you put that sealer over the top now you've got almost like a smoother um, surface just to, you know, be able to clean. Um, so like dust is not sticking to them as much now and different things like that. So this needs a sealer really bad. So that's what I'm going to do is come in, put a fresh coat of paint, and then I will put the sealer over the top. And boy, do these, these things need, they need this so bad.
So this is just before the clear coat and I actually don't show me putting the clear coat on today. This is still kind of drying, but you can see just the difference. Like it's so much better than it was. And so um, I am enjoying having these clean. It makes the entire kitchen feel so much better with these being clean and just fresh. So Been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher How your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering So there's just something about lighting a candle When I come in here to clean my kitchen That really just sets the mood And it makes it more of a peaceful environment so i like to to light my candles whenever i go to start to clean my kitchen um just to kind of set the mood and set the atmosphere so that i can ease into it and just really enjoy it cleaning for me is one of those things that is a de-stressor for me it's just how i operate i don't know how <laughs> but it's one of those things that just de-stresses me and so I really like to set the mood and just utilize this to just let loose some of the things, the worries, the stresses of the day, and just take it all out on cleaning. Just give me one more talk until you end. Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I want to go all in. So give me a sign. So I want to brag on my husband just a little bit here. So he is not a pro cabinet maker. He's not a professional by any means. Um, he has done some work in this area, but he just built me this kitchen from scratch. Like he just went out there and just started building it. And like, it's so funny how I would explain to him what it was that I wanted. I would draw a picture <laughs> and then he would just build it. And I'm just like, you know, sitting here cleaning these cabinets, thinking about how, you know, he just went out there and figured it out and just did it. And he's just, he amazes me. Like, he's just so talented and he has no idea that he is. He, re he really doesn't. And, you know, for him to be able to build these drawers like I wanted and even that corner piece that I was just cleaning, like, that was insanely hard. I know that it was. And he did the cabinets, he did the countertops, he did everything. Um, just built them completely from just scrap, like not scraps, but you know, from pieces of wood and all of the things. So it's just amazing to me um, that he was able to do this and so proud. So here I'm using the pink stuff, guys. This stuff is amazing. I actually originally got this for the stove because I heard, oh, well, it will take off, you know, big grimy stuff, which I still have not been able to find anything to work for that. But this pink stuff has been amazing for um, just polishing things. Like I love to use it on my glass. I love to use it on my countertops. Um, I have a black stove, so it like just gets rid of streaks and it keeps um, things from getting like fingerprints and things like that, like especially my countertops. Um, and just keeps them shiny and makes them look so good. How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? We ain't got the time. 
So now comes the fun part, of course, and that is the decorating part. So um, I got some of these pieces, but for the rest, for the most part, every single piece was a piece that I already had and just kind of added in. So I got this little rabbit at TJ Maxx and I got it actually several weeks ago and just still haven't came in here. I really wanted to do the deep clean and then decorate. And so anyways, I got this cute little gold rabbit. I think it was like maybe like seven or $10 or something like that. It wasn't very much, but it is so stinking cute. And it just adds that little springy touch um, to the space that I wanted. And yeah, so getting to just decorate is one of the many joys of life. You guys will have to let me know if you guys have decorated for spring. Do you guys decorate for spring? I know for years I did not decorate for all of those seasons and I've just gotten to where I really like to try to add in a little bit. I don't like a ton of decor. I feel like it can get overwhelming and so I just like to add little touches here and there in each room. So as I mentioned before, this pink stuff is so amazing on the countertops. It makes my countertops so shiny and I love the way that it looks. Um, so especially on this island piece and then too, you know, I get uh, kiddos who get up here and their fingerprints get all over the place. And so this actually keeps my countertops from getting a lot of smudges on them, which I love. I wanted to mention my friend Becca Berry, um, that's who I'm actually watching here. Um, she has a YouTube channel and it is called Happily Ever Becca. So you guys all have to go check out that YouTube channel. She's amazing. I actually started watching her um, whenever I very first started um, doing these clean with me videos. Um, so she is one of the people who inspired me to start my own channel. She has a ton of cleaning motivation over there and she does a lot of really big cleans and she has a brand new video that comes at you every single Sunday, um, which I love. I love the consistency of that. I love that I can just jump on there every Sunday and, you know, get a good motivation to start my week off. So when I think of decor, I think of as simple and clean as possible. I don't like to clutter spaces and I don't want to get too crazy with it. So I just wanted to take one little piece of, you know, that um, flower decor. It's my faux flowers. Um, so I just wanted to take a little piece and just stick it over here. I didn't need anything big or crazy. I just wanted something, you know, kind of small and simple um, to add into this little decor piece here. So you can see the finishing touch of it. Those antlers, I actually got those antlers and I use them quite a bit all over the house. And I got those whenever my boys were really small. Um, their uncle was a hunter and he actually gave those to them. Now to do this piece over here on the table, guys, it got so dusty over here so fast. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> so I wanted to give everything like a really good clean right here. And then I'm actually gonna switch out all of this that's on the table for the stuff that's on the countertop that we just decorated um, because I wanna do something more simple on this table area and then um, move this over to the island. So we'll do that here in a second. But first I gotta get everything kind of cleaned off cause it just got so dusty. My husband did build my son a bed um, in the garage, which is not too far from the kitchen. And so how the dust ended up in here, I don't know, but it did. <laughs> Told you I miss your smile 
So I wanted to talk about this little truck that I got. I actually got this at TJ Maxx for $19.99 um, and they had several of them with different, different floral, they had different sizes and this one I felt like was the perfect size for what I was wanting to do and so it was so cute. So if you guys like those little trucks, that's where I got that. And I know I talk about this Bissell wet vac quite a bit, but what I love about this thing is that it is cordless for one. <laughs> um, my other vacuum is not. Um, I can take this little vacuum cleaner and I can just vacuum with it or I can vacuum and I can mop. Um, I can shampoo my rugs with it. I can shampoo my sofa with it. Um, there's just so many different things that this thing does and it does a really amazing job. The battery life on it is also crazy insane um, and of course this video is not sponsored by Bissell I just have happen to love this vacuum um, and then the other thing that I am using is Jaws cleaner you can see that my husband like got paint on those but um, the Jaws cleaners have these refills so I only have like just a few bottles but all these little refills right here they go inside um, and that is how I'm able to store so many different cleaners, which is huge for me because I live in a tiny house and so as much space as I can conserve, the better. So that is what I've been using and then I use the swivel mop. The swivel mop, guys, gets this floor so good and that cleaner works so amazing as well. So, um, so far all of the Jaws cleaners I have absolutely loved. Um, except for like the glass cleaner I haven't I'm just really picky about my glass cleaners and so I haven't really like tried it to be honest with you um because I have one that I'm absolutely in love with love with and that is the spray away glass cleaner um but other than that all of the cleaners like the kitchen spray the shower spray all of them I love those Jaws cleaners and that also is not sponsored but I do love these cleaners and I, of course, am going to put the links to all of these things that I've just mentioned down in the description box. So make sure that you guys check those out. Um, and I do have a code for JAWS so that you guys can get a discount. Um, and that will be linked in the description as well.
So now I've already swivel mopped all of this flooring, but I do want to go over it with a dry one. Um, I don't always do this, but I'm going to go over this um, just for the sake of time of drying because <laughs> my I know my family is antsy to get into this kitchen and so I'm gonna go ahead and just dry mop it just really quick to go ahead and just give it that buffed over look and then also you know to dry it faster so I'm gonna do that really quickly and then be done with this kitchen So I almost forgot these cute little tea towels that I got from TJ Maxx I wanted to show to you guys. Um, they are so cute. They have these cute little bunny rabbits uh, stitched on them and they're just going to be a cute little finishing touch that I want to add to the kitchen before we're completely done here. Um, just to add that little pop of spring. And these were like super affordable. I think they were only like $7.99 for both of these tea towels, which was super awesome. Love TJ Maxx. Oh my gosh. Now it's time to go back over what this kitchen looked like before we got started and boy was this a transformation guys. I could feel the difference. You know that it was dirty when the after part feels so good um, and so clean and that is exactly what I felt after this clean because look at what was happening before we got started. So it was a long overdue and it obviously looks so amazing now. These cabinets are so much more fresh and guess what? Um, it has now, when you guys are watching this, been a few days and guess what? The cabinets are still clean. They're still clean, <laughs> which would not be the case if I would not have put that seller on them. I never think I always do Never thought I would jump Oh, what a fool So this is going to conclude this video, you guys. Make sure you stick around and continue to watch these after photos because they are amazing all the way to the end so you can see these end results because it was so worth it. I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in. 
and for supporting me. Um, if you have not reached out to me and you have been watching and maybe you're even subscribed to me and I have not connected with you yet, please say something down in the comments. That is how I get to connect with you and that is my heart is to be able to connect with you guys and get to know you guys. Um, if you guys are brand new to the channel, I hope you'll stick around. There are tons of motivational videos just like these on this channel. If you love home decor, if you love maybe organizing or just getting things clean, this is the place for that. So I want to thank you guys all from the bottom of my heart for sticking around with me. And until next time, we will see you guys on the next one.